Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name Moment Seven Spore, back with Rule the Waves Three. We're... Why did I say where? God damn it! I, I'm used to my British introduction. Modified the two into a three, but I, I I almost started on the rest of it. But no, it's just normal playthrough. Uh, currently we are at war with Germany and blockading it. And one thing I actually did not check the previous time is doctrine. So there has been changes here. As you can see, first of all, training priorities. Normally, you'd have norm. You know, in Real Base 2, you had gunnery, night fighting, and torpedo warfare. Now you have damage control. That is going to be a really, really good one. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have that right now. Um. But yeah, that would be a good one to take. Um. In terms of various, you do have float plane, helicopter, search priority as an option. As well as, uh, you know, scout forces, you can check and uncheck there. Um, torpedo usage options, you have uh, magnetic pistols, and then you can choose to use oxygen fueled torpedoes on multiple ships. And not just all oxygen fueled torpedoes, apparently it's only one. Apparently there's a naval academy, I don't think I, I mean, I don't have that yet. Use diving shells, use diving missiles, you have has heavy AA shells and elite pilot training. Um, so... This looks normal. This here looks very normal. This is normal. Um, and then we have a little missile storage thing here. Let me hit apply. Lower missile storage just cannot... Lower missile storage just cannot be undone. Weird that it cannot be undone. Um... Not like missiles matter right now. I wonder what happens if we actually push that right now. Would that be something which uh, screws stuff up? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. Currently, war is you know starting. We have two CLs about to complete. It does say I need ships on trade protection, so it's recommending six. Um, I can get that Corvette and get these smaller cruisers. Which gets me five. Um, I'll just accept five for now and see if I can Oh god, okay, so I've got to rework the uh, Corvette, because this looks way too modern. Um, let me auto-generate a Corvette. Auto-generate another one. I want, like, a 900-tonner. Um, <clears throat> let me look up... I mean, not Corvette. I'll look up a sloop. Super War, specifically. Actually, it's more Frigate. Oh, no, hold on. They did bring up stuff in World War One. So, actually, you have the World War One flower class. That's preceded by the uh, Cadmus class sloop. It is saying that the turret era is dreadnought, so I would I imagine this is based on maybe like a flower class from World War One, or technically an um, Chusa class sloop is a little, little bigger than this. Going to be based off a uh, kill class or kill class sloop. Yeah, I see the Cadmus, I see the Condor class. Um, let me see a list of French ships of World War One.
Okay, so here's my thought. I'm going to open up this design, but I'm going to completely change the superstructure look. I'm going to run patrol vessels of France. SC1. They had an SC1 sub chaser. Only 85 tons. Old captured German trawler. French naval ship classes of World War One. Let me see what they have. Don't really go down below destroyers. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out anything here. All right, I guess it is time to just kind of you know bullshit something together. Okay, so let's zoom in on this. So, first off, um, I want turret error to be pre dreadnought. Um, I am willing to accept this armament on this size at this speed. Uh, with this range, um. No torpedoes are allowed. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to change all of the uh, graphics. Okay. So. Alright, you can move superstructure layers up and down. That's actually really nice. Okay, so edit hull form of ship. Um, I'm going to make the hull form smaller and squatter. Okay, we're not quite there yet. Okay, I actually like that stern. You know what I kind of like? I kind of like this hull form. Um, all right. Um, position turret. Maybe there. Position turret a little bit further back. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, um, custom colors did not save. This is uh, kind of annoying. Okay, um... Oh nice, there's an aluminum superstructure checkbox. I assume that means that um, the ship would be lighter, but more prone to uh, lighting on fire. 
Although that actually might... There's an interesting decision to be made there. I've just realized. Because, um... You can get uh, the damage control techs. But the damage control focus... Okay, yeah, I think that's a little bit better of a look. Um, maybe I move zero somewhat forward. That's pointier. Yeah, okay. Actually... I'm going to make that a superstructure thing. Okay, so I'm going to do something like this. Actually, hold on. How about with this, I just um kind of start from here. Actually, I'm going to start from a little for a little more forward. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Let's do this, cross, go back. This. Cross, go back, then we can do this. Okay, um, that's layer one. Layer two will be kind of the forward. Is that actually how far I want it out? Probably not. Or a bit of the sloop. Okay, I think that looks nice. Um, let's get uh, funnels in here. I think you're actually only going to have like one funnel. Like a fairly forward located funnel. Okay. Um, individual. Let me see about like a CV island. That's way too big. That doesn't work. Hmm. Part of me is like trying to think if I could make that work or not. I think so. I think if I do that. No. That's kind of weird. The other issue is this would have to be on top of everything, too, so any superstructure I couldn't put on top of this, that would be... Yeah, no, that would be below it all, so... I think what I need to do is just a rectangle. Maybe like a 12-foot square. Oh, bigger square. Maybe like a rectangle. Just solid. Large. 
Like that. It can kind of work. What is this? What's the resting gear look like? Oh, oh, that's really big. Well, I wonder if you could use that for something effectively. On, like, something which isn't a CV. Actually, you have a lot of options for um, CV elevators. And honestly, the CV parts, I think, can make really good, like, superstructure parts, too. If I'm going to be honest. But for rectangle, let me go with a uh, graded large. more kind of amidships. I'll do a copy on it and uh put the position at zero. Shall let me get a second let me get a second funnel. I can add in a square as a visual. Maybe like a 16 foot square? No, too big. Uh, 12 foot maybe. Yeah, that'll that'll work. And then uh let me get probably boats. Um let's do a thirty five foot with oh god, that's massive. Um I kind of like that, though. Uh, no, I think I'll want to go 28 foot boats. Oh, 28 foot with divisions. Let's get more ammunition uh, for the main guns. Um, I will set the position of that gun a little bit further back. Still on in sponsons. I think the sponson look works. Alright, so for structure 5, um, I'm going to want it as a darker gray. Um, temporarily, I'll reset it back to a more reasonable color here, but, um, I want to create, you know, the mast for these ships, which would be, presumably, you know, get that bit, so, snap there, um, out that way, snap there, that look okay or no? 
Uh, I think so. Um, save equipment shape. Um, and then mast. I'll call it an in mass two. Okay. Okay, so structure no, do not clear the current layer. Um I want to do structure three now. So I should use a rectangle as the bridge, couldn't I? I'm just going to start, yeah, if I'm going to use a rectangle as the bridge, I'm just going to start with like something like this. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go past here. I can do a little bit. Down there. Um... Snap there. Okay, I can do something like that. I can work with this uh, superstructure. Um, I'm going to move the aft gun. Well, first of all, I'm going to actually spawn in the aft gun. I want to sponsor you too. Yeah, sure. Um, position turret just slightly forward. <laughs> All right, graphics. Um. Then in some squares. A rectangle square is an odd... Well, I mean, it's technically true, but that feels like an odd term. So that's a 12-foot. I'm going to do a rectangle solid medium. Set rest angle, so let's try a 90 degree rest angle. Okay, I think I like the 90 degree more than the zero. Um, oh, I think, I think that the gray just kind of works. Alright, let me add a mast in. So this is an in mass two. Copy the position. Okay, so I kind of actually screwed up here a bit. Um, I put the mass to where it should go and not, you know, on the center line. So that's an oops on my part. But oh well. Maybe in the future I can load up the ship designer and just kind of fix that. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'll suggest a new name. Check mark. Okay, it is good. That's good. 
Alright, so structure 3 is that, so I still have structure 4, 5, and 6 to uh, fully place. And you know, here... Okay, so structure five. Um, now let's just do something back here. So uh, I'm going to assume that this mast is kind of supported on something. I don't even know what else to add. I know, I think she already looks good. Can't even think of something to add for the six superstructure. Although I probably should. Like, you know, if I'm if I'm not using every superstructure layer, something is wrong. So, let's make use of that around here, maybe. Just do that. That'll work. Um, I'm going to slightly set this guy's position a little better. I need negative one, actually. Not right. I think that'll work. That looks good enough. 90 degree rotation on this rectangle, that's kind of screwing things up. Pardon me, which instead a couple more boats, but I think that's good. I'm used to the save being like up here, and now it's down here. Okay, um, now that I have a new class of Corvette done, let's uh, go on, or, you know, building now, let's go on to the next month. Raid on enemy coastal shipping, all accept. They decline action with light forces, all accept. Okay. What do I get? Do I get the seals? Uh... Amaral Cecil, so a cocoa gun, and then uh, Cosmo, another cocoa gun. The, uh, wow, that is very, very loud. Oh, we can add notes to maps. Oh, that's really nice. That was just at 100% sound. Okay. Um, my question is how... Land in the water. I think the land in the water look fine. Um... Yeah, I think these look fine. Um, I think these are pretty similar. I, I think, I remember in Rule of the Waves 1 having to change these, but I think that I changed them to something that looks similar to this, and I even think in 2 I changed them to something that looks similar. This, these are not different. Are these different from 2? These look like the exact same, either the exact same colors I have in 2 or almost the exact same colors I have in 2.
All right. Um, let's just check. We're currently in Rear Admiral mode. That's the mode I play in. Okay, so do not pause on notifications. And no, I'm not going to do allow AI control of all friendly forces. Yeah, okay, everything's good. I've just realized I've not set that up properly, but apparently, I mean, it looks like, looks like it's pretty much the same settings as two. Okay, so it's nighttime. Um, squad max. Which way are they going? So they've opened fire on us. We've now opened fire on them. What is torpedo range? Okay. We did manage a 2 inch hit. How significant is the damage? So it looks like we took two 3 inch ships. So Convoy is commanding that one. And uh, Vaughn and Gaul is commanding that one. Looks like a forward turret has jammed though. Problem is, it is nighttime and foggy. Well, what's our sighting range, actually? Okay. Weather is mist, moderate breeze to the northeast. Oh! Okay, um, yeah, we're just kind of wandering around aimlessly right now. That glitch still works, um, okay, so, confirmation, the time warp glitch still works, I'm, I am sorry, you have given me, you have very nicely given me a key for your game, and I'm trying it out and playing it, and I'm testing an old glitch just to see if it's still present, and it's still present, I'm not, like, trying to abuse it here, but I just, I wanted to see if that still existed, and it does, so what it is, is, for all you who don't know, and I have used this in two a little bit, is, if you press... Okay, if you press spacebar to manually advance a turn, but keep pressing spacebar during the turn, the time doesn't advance, but your ships keep moving. I call it the time warp. Okay, we'll continue to patrol until morning. Uh, go down to cruise speed. Yeah, I have no idea where they are. Uh, let's head to France. So we took a small amount of damage. But otherwise, okay. Yes. We had two CAs out. Interesting. So, your damage points lost... Or hits inflicted, so... They inflicted three hits, we didn't inflict any hits, but um, they didn't do any damage. So, they had um, the protected cruisers Hamburg and Arcona deployed, well, they had the armored cruisers Freya and uh, Prince Heinrich deployed, but uh, we only encountered the CLs. So, that's what these look like. Hamburg and Arcona, and then Freya... Ooh, Freya's a little scarier. Yeah, those I think those are the two scariest uh, cruisers. So, we take a 3-inch high explosive from uh, Arcona into the engine room, and then Admiral Cecil takes two 3-inch, one from uh, Hamburg, one from Arcona, and a turret jam. So that's kind of it. Not, so nothing much happened there. <laughs> Oh, interesting, the aircraft thing is expanded, the aircraft plane list from before. So, you know, previously it's just fighters, torpedo bombers, dive bombers, uh, medium bombers, float plane scouts, patrol boats, and I'm not sure if it has the Zeppelin tag or not. I don't think it does. But now, 
I think that's Jet Fighter Light, Jet Fighter Heavy, Jet Attacker, Helicopter, and all. Battle was a draw. Yep. There's our new CLs. Uh, not ready. Um, well, they can join when we... Yeah, I'll let them join when they're ready. Germany has laid down Corvettes. I'll order six. Six of these new Corvettes for uh, trade protection duty. Um... Okay, so for the new cruisers, Jean Bar and uh, Chas uh, Chasaloup Le Bay, it's probably not how you say it. Um, I will be trying to assign commanders to them. So, let's see, do we have any torpedo experts here? No. As some people are average and above average in question. I think you would go well. And, um... We'll get Ob. Um, what do I spend money on now? I could do training, but like, yeah, let's do some training. Let's not lose ships to uh, damage control issues. Yes. Okay, so division editor, the experience in all the divisions is poor. Um. So I'm going to schedule division training for um 3rd Battle Division. As well as the 3rd Light Cruiser Division. And just quickly do this so that now I know how now I actually know what my monthly expenses are. Um my dock size will be improved pretty soon, too. I should just keep expanding the dock size and build really big uh, pre-dreads. But I, th I feel like I should tr probably try be trying to build a... Uh... Why are you called Corbet? Probably be trying to build a sister ship for Brennis. Okay, so that was the first battle. Uh, I can save and hit next turn. Cruiser action. No way they have two Bs in the area. Okay, um... I'll set them to AI control. Unknown ship sighted. Squad. How fast can you guys move? You guys can only move 17 knots. Wow, they actually have a battleship here. If that's to be believed. There's no way. There's no way that Germany with two battleships... has them both deployed outside of Northern Europe. 
can get into port, right? No? Can I not get into port? Apparently I can't get into that port. We're okay. No, it was a CA. So they had, um... What was it? Hertha. It's probably worse, but, you know, they had multiple CLs deployed. Including a pretty good one. And a couple bad ones. Alright, inconclusive. Richelieu has condenser trouble. Gaining VP for blockading them. British scientists have invented improved design calculations. What's my current research on? Yeah, I only have the extra engine. Uh, weight savings on machinery. I will accept that battleship engagement. A cruiser action over here. Unexpected battle. Let's hope for some, you know, good weather. Okay. One thing I need to do in the options menu is... I'm going to say all subordinate... Yeah. All subordinate divisions should be on AI control at the start of the battle. Okay, so we have multiple ships spotted over there. We have the first light cruiser, the second cruiser, and the first cruiser. Which is the flag right now? First cruiser is the flag. Um, you should be AI control. You should be a core. You are a core. You should be a, under AI control, and you should be under AI control. Um, we'll see if we can identify these. So squad max is 21 knots. Um, can everyone make that, or I think everyone can make that. So they're... Yeah, some of those cruisers are slow. Okay, you should be formed on Chanzi as a core. What's our gun range? Okay, that's our main gun range. So the Germans are running away because they've realized we have a superior force. Okay. Still, uh... Okay, I am noticing it's a little difficult to right-click on stuff, so... Yeah, her engines break down due to high speed of running. Curious, in terms of captains, do we actually know anything about some of the captains? So you're just average, don't know anything about you. We do know about Torville. Don't know anything about you. Don't know anything about you. Don't know anything about you. Honestly, there's part of me which wants to, like, get training ships. But I'm not sure that's the... brightest idea. It's 
kind of just like, oh, you know, have commanders out and about. Okay, so one issue I am seeing is that because this is local fire control at a distance, we are not hitting anything. What's actually what is speed limited to? 22 knots. All right, none of our ships can actually hit the uh, speeds needed. There we go. Those are six-inch guns from Duplay. Okay. Or a three-inch on that. Good job, guys. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a main bat hit. Yeah, we've caught up. We've overtaken. Good shooting, guys. Play four aft hull hit. Um, flooding of four. Um... Okay, we're gonna turn this way. Light. Rudder jammed. Play. Turn. Okay, you know what? Fine, turn this way. Thank you. You have full flotation, you'll be fine. Okay, so... The guns are inaccurate enough that I'm just willing to accept a, uh... Kill on this, especially... Oh wait, no, Duplay got her flooding under control. Good job! Is she sinking? Actually, I have no idea if that bug's patched or not. Um, oh wait, hold on. Do I have to bring it up in the, um, nope, not that. Names. You'd have to bring it up in the enlarged inset view. But, oh, you cannot view those ships in the enlarged inset view. They have patched that. Interesting. So I cannot tell if right now she's sinking or not. I think she is. I think she wasn't when I said is she sinking or not, but I think she is right now. And the reason I say that is this gun, actually no, because Duplay is kind of passing in front. That gun was previously aimed at, um, Play. All right. Yeah, now the guns were being aimed, but she's pretty badly on fire and heavily damaged. I think she's gonna go down. Let's see if we can cut an enemy ship off. From the group. Chanzi bearings overheating. Alright. Uh, go to cruise speed. We're abandoning. We're abandoning the chase. Get, uh, get experience. On this, uh, cruiser. Okay, um, I'm gonna old order a hold fire. For now. Actually, I'm gonna sail out of range. 
allow you to open fire, but I am going to sail out of, well, just a little bit out of range. Okay, there we go, it sank. Yes to all. Okay. Rescued survivors, and now had to head to Brest. Alright, scenario length reached. Good fight. Ship details. Yeah, so we... Yeah, we inflicted a lot more damage than they did, but a lot of those were, after, not, you know, on a sinking ship. Um, so I'll look at Arcona later. First one check. Cecil, so yeah, you can see the, um... Actually, you can't see the rescued survivors thing anymore. Interesting. Or was that something which just wasn't on the log... That might have not been on the logs beforehand. Um, so we'll go up the list in terms of, like, light damage to heavy damage. So Victoria Louise, um, takes a 6-inch superstructure. Superstructure hit, um, upper belt, deck extended, splinters damage hull. So we did a little bit of damage, but nothing too bad to her. Um, Duple wound up taking a 5-inch fore-aft hull. That was what caused the heavy flooding from CA Hansa. Sec bet hit, and then a 3-inch fore-aft haul. So the second one was a 3-inch fore-aft haul, which didn't really do anything. I was a little bit concerned by that hit, or seeing that, but no. Uh, we scored a medium, a 6-inch uh, hit, which destroyed a turret, and I actually did a significant amount of structure damage on uh, this other Arcona class. Okay, so we've confirmed that the Arcona suck. Or the Arcona class sucks. Um, oh yeah, it does kind of suck. So, initially, uh, we're scoring 3-inch hit, belt, protected cruiser, shell bursts, and armored deck. Superstructure damage by splinters, secondary guns knocked out by splinters, belt upper, deck penetration, splinters damage hull, engine room hit, non-penetration, 7-inch critical hit, belt extended, saltwater inner speed tanks, machinery disabled, deploy. Good shot. Good shot. So this is when I just kind of decide, eh, let's you know, turn around and blast this ship a bit. So, 5-inch engine room hit, non-penetration, superstructure does get damaged by splinters, 2 engine room hits, only 1 penetrates, a superstructure hit which penetrates and you're missed, attaches to move independently against close enemy, um, turret hit, forward turret gets destroyed by uh, Latouche Treville, it, yeah, couple more non-pens, there we go, 5-inch, uh, Pen, so one of those was in the upper belt, one of those was a superstructure hit, fire started, funnel topples. Um, good. Interesting that a funnel can topple. Shell burst on armor deck, superstructure damaged by splinters, near miss, another engine room penetration. Superstructure hit, splinters perforate uptakes, engine room hit, waterline belt extended. Hit, hit belt upper. I'll hit belt extended, fire spreads, limits flooding, a 3 inch, turret hit, 2 inch, 5 inch, supercharged hit, belt upper, fire spreads, and then they're trying to get the fire under control, machinery repaired, sinking through progressive flooding. So they barely get the machinery repaired and then the ship just kind of sinks. So this is after we, this is kind of after we went away. So she wound up sinking about an hour after we went back up, and then we came back down and uh, just made sure to absolutely maul her. You know, maul the uh, sinking wreck. So yeah, uh, good job. I can't click on those, specifically, it seems. Yeah, good result. Um, not going to really post that anywhere, but... Hooray! Well, I mean, I'm posting it on YouTube, so... <laughs> can't really post that in the Discord yet. France minor victory, own VP 308, enemy VP 16. New docks completed. Press for harder terms. Research breakthrough, telescopic sites. Germany has commissioned a new CA. 
Yeah, Germany is building a lot of ships right now. Um, and with the newfound money, I think I'm going to order a another Bren or another Brennus class battleship. This will be Corbet. Mm, give me two of those things. Um, now that you know the dockyards have finished building, I'll hold off on another dockyard expansion for a little bit. Um, wish I was gonna redesign the Brennan. No, I'll just, I'll just have a sister. It's only like one tech level. I guess it's two now, but you know that's a gradual, uh, accuracy improvement. How long until doctrine? Ten months. Vision editor are. So that's division trained. So they're unfair. Um, the other thing I need to do is move... What is it? These two ships into a division. Select division. Oh, that didn't work. Division editor. Um, so the first and second cruiser divisions. Add ships to division. Um, so I want you to get uh, Gaiden. And uh, you will also get um, the Touche Treville. Actually, you know what? I think Latouche Treville will be the flagship. Um, okay, so I'm going to schedule division training for um, second battle division. And um, I'm going to schedule division training for the uh, second cruiser division. Uh, so I think that is the video. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I will see you next time with more of this Rule of the Waves 3 series. Uh, and again, once again, have to uh, thank, you know, Matrix Games, or Matrix Games Slytherin, uh, the publishers, as well as the developers for allowing me to have a free key. Yeah, as well as Naval Warfare Simulations, um, yeah, for allowing me to have a free key. And um, for, you know, being able to bring this game to you all before it comes out. Do do get excited. Do get... I, I would say get it when it comes out. Get it when it comes out. I mean, I've been... Honestly, in private, I've been... like, Well, not in private, but for a while I've been telling people, no, wait until 3 comes out. Don't get 2. Wait until 3. And, yeah, you're close. This is this is really close now, so... Yeah, get get 3 when it comes out. This is good. Um... This is good. And honestly, this feels, like, significantly less broken than when 2 came out. And, it, you know, they just improve these games over time as well. So, yeah. I'm, I'm giving it a recommendation so far. Um, from what I've seen so far, I'm enjoying this. Don't know what the later game's like or what the changes are there, but, yeah, this is good. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, down below, there should be links to a, uh, I guess, semi-official Rule of the Waves Discord, as well as my Discord, my Twitter, and my Twitch, if you're interested in any of those things. I think I will be occasionally streaming like Kerbal on Twitch, maybe from the depths on Twitch, but Rule of the Waves, I think I'm going to keep entirely on YouTube. Um, that will be 2 and 3, because I, I have a little bit of 2 I still need to finish. I hate to say. So, yeah. Um, that's it for me. Bye! Get this game when you can. Eee!